Hey guys, I know a lot of you have something to celebrate this spring. There's prom, graduation, weddings, so I really wanted to share this effortless updo that you can do yourself or use as inspiration. I'm going to tell you guys a secret. One of the reasons why I love effortless hairstyles, besides the appearance of them, is that if you make a mistake or it's not perfect, nobody can tell and it will look intentional. So if you're doing your own hair, effortless is the way to go. So let's go ahead and get started. Now to prep, I'm first applying some dry shampoo from Chlorine just to absorb some oil and to help add volume around my crown. Next, I'm using this Bumble and Bumble Thickening Spray. I love this to create texture, volume, and lift. Plus you guys, it smells amazing. First step, section off your hair just below your temples and just clip that top section up out of the way. I love adding hair extensions for special occasions. Now, they are not necessary for this hairstyle, but I find that they can really take a hairstyle to the next level. So I added in one four clip weft and I wear Luxie hair extensions. I have the 220 gram set in the color Ash Blonde. Next, we wanna separate our side sections. So just section off your hair behind your ears and pull it forward, placing it out of the way. And be sure to do this on both sides. Now, with all that remaining hair, you want to create a tight ponytail and you want this to sit at about ear height. Next, we're going to roll our hair under itself to create a bun. If your hair is long, just wrap your ends tightly around your fingers and then pull them behind your hair and begin tightly rolling your ponytail until you reach the nape of your neck, similar to this. Now, before you bobby pin it into place, just pull on some small pieces to give it a more textured appearance. And now secure your bun to your head with a lot of bobby pins. I just try to cross them over one another. Now I'm just going to quickly add another four clip weft to the top of the previous one. And then you just want to unclip and let down all the remaining hair. Next, gather all of the hair at the top in the crown of your head and just clip this out of the way for now. All right, divide the section down the middle and place that right side out of the way for now. And with your left side, just like before, section off your side section by tracing down behind your ear and just placing it out of the way for now. So now you're left with your left back section and we can begin creating those textured twists. Begin loosely twisting the section away from your face and then you just want to pull in small sections of the twist to help fan it out. And feel free to make your twist as big or as small as you like, but you do want to pull out more near the top of the twist just to help create that pretty swoop detailing. Once you're happy with your twist, just pull it across the back of your head and bobby pin it into place on the opposite side of your bun. Now everything we do to the left side, we do to the right side. So remember to section off your hair from behind your ear and just place it out of the way. And now you're left with your back right section. Begin loosely twisting it away from your face. And then once you've fanned out your twist, just pull it across the back of your head above your previous twist and just secure it into place. Once your twists are pinned into place, if your ends are hanging out like mine, you'll just want to continue twisting and pinning. So start on the right side, which was our first twist, and twist it more if it's fallen out, and then just cross it over your bun and secure it into place. And then repeat on the left side, grabbing all that remaining hair, twisting it, and then pinning it into place on the opposite side. If your ends are still poking out, just tuck them and pin them underneath, but I love that effortless appearance, so I left some ends poking out. All right, next, unclip your top section, gather it all together, but still keeping those side sections separate. So this section is what's going to give us that volume at our crown, so just give it a little bit of a twist and push it up. Once you're happy with your amount of volume, just secure it into place with some bobby pins right above your twists. And once it's secure, just pull on small sections of your hair to create even more volume. And with that remaining hair that's hanging down, you just want to divide that into two equal sections and you guessed it, one more time, begin twisting these sections away from your face, fanning them out, and then crossing them over the back and pinning them into place. So now it should look a little similar to this. Now, finally, gather your right side section and all the remaining hair on the right side and gently pull on the bottom of the section to help create that swoop over your ear. And then loosely twist the section away from your face, fanning it out and then crossing it over the back above the previous twist and pinning it into place. 
And then repeat the same thing on the left side, grabbing all that remaining hair, including any ends left over from the last twist, and feel free to pull out small sections to frame your face. Once everything's pinned into place, play around with it, adjust it, and feel free to tuck your ends underneath your twists out of sight. Then I went ahead and added this pretty barrette just to show you guys how you can easily glam up this hairstyle. And then I went in with my one and a quarter inch curling iron from T3 and I just curled small pieces of hair away from my face to help frame it and give it a nice soft appearance. So what do you guys think? I love it. I think it would be so beautiful paired with a strapless dress, especially because of all these little wispy bits and all the texture and the drama in the back. It would just be so beautiful. And if you are celebrating anything, be sure to leave a comment down below. I would love to hear. But I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.